Welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications using ArcGIS. In this session, we're going to assess the reliability of MODIS NDVI product. And you'll be processing a MODIS 1 kilometer NDVI product from the composite period, 16 day composite period starting on day 161. So if you go to the website and download the data for this week's sessions, double click on this file MOD13A12-2013-161 and in that HDF file there's 11 different bands. So the NDVI band is the first band. So that's one kilometer 16 day composited NDVI. So load that band and no we won't build period pyramids for now. So it's going to look very strange because it's in the sinusoidal projection. So for example, this is the Alaska Range, and this is the Seward Peninsula, and I believe this is the Wrangell's St. Elias area. But for now we won't worry about this funky projection, we'll just assess the reliability of these pixels. So we've got our NDVI raster, the next thing we want to do is add our reliability band from day 161. So the reliability band is the last band, band 11, and it's a pixel reliability, and then just OK. And no, we won't build pyramids. OK, so this reliability band, a value of zero represents a pixel that was a clear sky pixel that will have a reliable NDVI value. So let's rename this layer just to QC for quality control. And then our NDVI will have fill pixels of negative 2000 and then valid NDVI values from 0 to 10,000. So basically they've scaled NDVI which typically as a floating point value goes from negative 1 to positive 1 now that positive one will be scaled up to 10,000. So let's just rename this layer NDVI. Okay, so what we want to do is extract those NDVI pixels that have a QC value of zero. And we can use the raster calculator to do that. Okay, so in the raster calculator, the first question is, is the pixel reliability equal to zero? And if that question's true, this value will become 1. If the question's false, this value will become 0. Okay, so our second question is, is the NDVI of the pixel representing a vegetated pixel? So we'll have a threshold of 2,000 representing anything with an NDVI above 2,000 has vegetation inside that pixel. And then the last thing is we'll multiply it by the NDVI value. So basically this question has to be true. It has to be a high reliability pixel. This question has to be true. It has to have an NDVI above 2000. So 1 times 1 times NDVI. So the result should be NDVI values ranging from 2001 to 10,000 or 0. So if this is false it becomes 0, if this is false it becomes 0. And then we'll output that. And I named it good NDVI for this composite period starting with day of year 161.tiff. And then just OK. OK so the output from that is good NDVI for the period 161.tiff and 0 represents pixels that were unreliable or had values that were less than 2000. So what we want to do is set those to no data. So we could use the set null tool and turn those zero values to no data. Okay, so the question is, is the pixel value equal to zero? And if it is, it becomes no data, it's set null. If this question's false, just keep the good NDVI value and then we'll output it to a raster called good NDVI composite period 161 so that's the first day of the composite period, day of year 161, underscore no data dot tiff. And then just OK. OK, so we've got our good NDVI ranging from a value of 2001, in this case, to a value of 9970. 
And we could use the identify tool to double check our work. So for example, here's a pixel that had a quality control value reliability of zero. So we keep the NDVI value of 7715. Here's an area. It had a quality control of zero. So we keep the value 5384. Here in the Alaska range, it had a quality control value of one. So that becomes no data. Here's another one. It had a quality control of two. So that becomes no data. So it all checks out. Okay, so what we need to do is the same process for a composite period starting with day 137. So that starts on May 17th. And then the composite period starting at day 145. And then a composite period starting at day 153. And then this composite period uh, starts at day 161 represents the period from June 10th to June 25th. So basically we'll have these four NDVIs starting day of year 137, which is May 17th, and ending in this composite period, which ends at June 25th. So process these three rasters to produce good NDVI for those composite periods. Okay, so after you're done processing, you'll have four composite periods. So the first composite period is mid-May. And then the last composite period is mid-June. So if we look at the change in NDVI from mid-May to mid-June, the question is how reliable is this? So basically, since we're going from mid-May to mid-June, as we go in composite period, we should have a steady increase in NDVI as spring bud burst occurs, leaf flush occurs, and then basically NDVI typically peaks in July. So we're going to ask the question for every pixel, does it have an increase in NDVI during these periods? Is a value within 500, we're going to consider that an increase. So we use the raster calculator to test this. Okay, so our first question would be, is the good NDVI from our first composite period less than the good NDVI from the next composite period? And we're going to add 500 to account for any random variation in NDVI. So we would expect that going from mid-May to late May, the NDVI is going to increase, and all these NDVI values should be less than these NDVI values plus 500. So that's the first question. And then the second question will be, and is the good NDVI from this composite period less than the next composite period plus 500? And then we'll ask the same question, and is the NDVI from our third composite period less than the NDVI from our last composite period plus 500? And then if that's true, so this question and this question and this question, if they're all true, the pixel will get a value of one. If any of these questions are false, the pixel will get a value of zero. So we'll output that to a new raster that's gonna be ones and zeros called green up pixels, May 17th to 20, June 25th, 2013.tiff. And then just okay. Okay, so here's an example going from period 137 to 145 to 153 to 161. There was a steady increase in NDVI, so the green up pixel will be a true green up pixel. As opposed to this pixel, as opposed to this pixel, it had NDVI value 4436, and then the next composite period it actually dipped. So it went from 4436 down to 3873, probably due to cloud contamination. So that will have a green up of zero. It was not a high quality pixel. It did not have a steady green up. Okay, so do that. And then on the Blackboard website, I'll have some questions about the data that you've processed in this video session.